We love inviting guests onto Let's Go Live, and in Garden Week, we spoke to the brilliant Hamza Youssef, a wildlife photographer and TV presenter. Hamza gave us his top tips for photographing mini beasts in the garden, and they were number one, look everywhere. <laughs> number two, be creative. And three was find ways to bring the wildlife to you. Mm. Armed with these top tips, we head out on a mini beast photography challenge. However, we want you to tell us what the mini beasts are. So mm. we've used some sound effects to cover their names so you can guess and play along. How many can you name? Hmm. Right, we've heard Hamza's tips, so let the mini beast hunt begin. What are you doing, Greg? I'm looking everywhere. Where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> long, these are gonna be good. You found anything? No, actually. Nothing? Oh! Do you want my phone to yeah. take photos? Hang on, here we go. Trying to get it in focus is really tricky. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. <laughs> wow! Go back to sleep. <sighs> Yes. Greg. Oh. <laughs> we were looking everywhere and actually we started to use our ears as well and we could hear a really loud buzzing sound. So we looked up there and- Back is back, back. Shh, shh, again. <laughs> there was a huge <laughs> But we didn't get a good photo of it though. I'm sure Hamza will have some tips that would help us there. I imagine it has something to do with um, being quieter and yeah, calmer. I'm not very good at that. What have you found? Have a look, get in. Where is it? It's there. I can see the wiggly <laughs> Oh, it's trying to get away from the light quickly. Let's get a picture. Hamza said to bring the wildlife to you and we've sort of got a couple of old logs over here, which is sort of making a type of insect hotel. So come down, let's see what we can find. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there's loads. Yes. There's loads. Definitely see a Nice. <laughs> and just above. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> two in one, two in one. Hi, buddies. Matt. Yes. Oh, wrong way to zoom. Yeah. Just got a really good photo. Well, some video of the. Because <laughs> I was really quiet and patient. A little oops. Oh, I think it's a lot like the one that we saw in the daffodil the other oh, yeah. day. It's tiny, so I'm going to get creative Here you go. and use a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hey, Mads, yeah. what about that um, little phone attachment you've got? I've got a couple of these little lenses that you can clip onto a smartphone, and this is a macro lens, and that means it will let us get really, really close up. Is it good? Yeah. Whoa, that's awesome. I'm going to hold my breath so I don't move. <laughs> Did you get the shot? Mads, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. swap, swap, oh, swap, pass me that. Why? I was filming you and a little mini beast jumped on me. <laughs> Uh, picture number one. That, Maddie, is a spider. Well done. It is a spider. And how many legs do spiders have? Uh, spiders have eight legs. They do. They do have eight legs. Um, and do they also have eight eyes as well? Some spiders have eight eyes, but not all of them. Some have six, uh, but they will oh, they will always have an even number of eyes. Huh. So you can mm. have four and two, but you'd never have a cyclops spider. You never have a no. one-eyed spider. No. Huh. So here's picture number two. And no surprises here. That, Maddie, is a worm. Well done. It is a worm. But did you know there are actually 2,700 different types of earthworm alone? Really? That many? Yeah, 2,700 types wow. of earthworm. Wow. Really cool. Um, okay, number three. Oh, three, three and four. Three and four. Right, mm -hmm. so uh, I can tell you that one of them is definitely a snail. Yes, correct. And can oh, you... oh, can I tell you my snail fact? Yeah, please do. Right, here's my snail fact, right? The bit that snails actually move around on, on the floor is called the foot. And the reason you know that is because Greg's surname is foot. Greg foot. Yes, there's my snail fact. Uh, I will get rid of that now. The other one is a woodlouse. It is. An uh, interesting fact about a woodlouse is that we think of them as mini beasts, bugs, insects, but actually 
It is a crustacean. It's in the same family as crabs and lobsters. No way. I know, but because we see them in the garden, we just assume oh that they're goodness. bugs. But no, they're crustaceans. We should have like a fact noise. That's like such a good fact. Anyway, fact sorry. Fact bomb. Fact bomb. <laughs> she just said it's a crustacean. Okay. <laughs> um, which one are we on now? Uh, this one five. five, which is quite clearly a bee. It's not just a bee, it's a bumblebee. So those there are loads and loads of different types of bees. You get honeybees, they make honey. Uh, you get solitary bees that live by themselves and you also get bumblebees. And bumblebees are the cute fluffy ones. This is definitely a type of bumblebee. How do you identify a bumblebee? Well, you can tell just by looking at its markings and you can see just from this photo or this, this snapshot uh, that it's got sort of like an orange shoulder and it's got a stripe of orange across yeah. its, its centre, its abdomen. Abdomen. You can't see its bum though, and it helps to, to see the bottom of a bee's bum to work out what it is. But my guess is that it is some type of buff tailed bumblebee or maybe a type of cuckoo bumblebee. Interesting. Right, mm. we better rattle through these two ones quickly. Sure. Uh, this one is a beetle it of is, some description. Yeah. Um, in fact, Natalie Park, she actually identified this as a flower beetle. Um, right, last but not least, then, sure. this little critter jumped up on my leg. Um, isn't it sweet? What is it? I thought it was an aphid originally. It's, but not, it's not an aphid. There's no wings? Truthfully, we don't know what this is. No, not really, is. not really. My mum had a good guess. She thought it might be um, a bark louse, bark lice. Um, <laughs> and then someone else suggested it could be a spring flea. But if it was a type of flea, it would be very jumpy. And it wasn't, it? wasn't was it? jumpy. No, so if you, no. again, if you think you know what it is, please do tell us.